Hey, what's up, y'all? Alex here at Nathan Phillips Square in downtown Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Late Saturday night, as it's Nuit Blanche, which is the overnight contemporary art festival running from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So there's many uh, contemporary art displays uh, around the downtown core. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, there's like thousands and thousands of people here, tourists, locals, uh, and there's a Toronto sign, three Toronto sign, lit in green, and then it's going to change color to blue, look around you, just like so much people, uh, there's Old City Hall, it's uh, around 11.25 p.m., and I just parted ways with, uh, with uh, my friend, he's heading home now. Uh, we hung out for a, uh, a couple hours, uh, walked around downtown, checked out a bit of the uh, displays, and uh, we also uh, ran into Toronto Tech and Transit, who is currently doing a live stream as we speak. I think he's way out of reach now with Sapan TTC Explorer, whom I met to, at the uh, Line 3 Scarborough RT Feral event earlier today. So I thought, uh, let me retrace my steps, uh, visit that teapot uh, art installation at the uh, TD Courtyards. This is a, this is a last minute uh, walking video I'm filming, so uh, here's downtown Toronto on a Saturday night, and I don't think I've ever been uh, out here downtown at this hour. Like, I'm pretty sure this is my first time. I know I've been around 10-ish, but uh, not right now when it's like nearly 11.30. Of course, as soon, sooner it's gonna, soon it's going to be uh, midnight. And I want to film a walk up Young Street just after uh, midnight, so... Uh, but uh, yeah, millions of people are here today, taking in on the sights and sounds. Also, today is the first day of fall, September 23rd, 2023. So today has been an eventful day so far. And I had some ice cream just now. I did have a poutine for dinner as well, uh, shortly after me and Yahya met. Let's go this way. So this is uh, Queen Street. To be honest, I didn't really see much art displays, but uh, I know there's, uh, there's a couple that do stand out to me though, especially including that teapot uh, display. There's York Street, but why don't we, uh, why don't we cut through here? Why don't we cut through here for the Sheraton? Obviously it's lit up here. And there's uh, Richmond, but we're just gonna head to, uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, take a shortcut. So maybe I'll take York down to King. And then uh, we will uh, head across to uh, Bay. We'll swing around. Ooh, Ohio. From Franklin. And downtown really hits different at night. And yes, of course, the obvious traffic here jam packed. Because of the, the many row closures here. Bay Street is closed as well as Queen to pedestrians. And it's looking west, there's University Avenue. Of course, everywhere I go, there's like frickin' uh, thousands of people smoking or vaping. Oh, yeah. But there's definitely no shortage of people with their gimbals or digital cameras like me taking video or photographs. I mean, I already, I already filmed one up uh, Bay Street earlier. That was three hours ago, actually. And it's a rare thing that I'm filming... Uh, in the very, very late evening. 
And then uh, later on, I'm going to be filming my first ever walking video uh, after uh, midnight. Actually, second one overall on the channel. Last time I filmed the video after midnight was... Uh, was uh, I was at a special event in North York back in June, and uh, and it was like way after midnight. So uh, I wanted to document my experience taking the TTC after 12. Of course, I'm gonna be doing that after, but uh, I probably won't film anything. I'm kind of getting pooped, and who knows? I might I might wake up by at least 10, 10:30. I don't know. What a day it's been. Uh, an eventful one as well. Uh, here is Adelaide Street. <laughs> so right around now, oh look, there's a display right here. Probably never noticed. It's uh, interesting here. Is that a microwave? Too many people making it hard for me to even get a good view. Oh, there we go. Wow. I'm not really sh not sure what the name of this uh, display is. Hey, we found one at least. Man, everywhere you go, there's a lot of people, especially at Young Dundas Square. Where they're blasting the usual copyrighted music, lots of buskers on their drum sets and shit, you know. Alright, so next up is King Street West. Yeah, reasons why you do not want to freaking drive down here, especially doing huge, especially during huge events like this. It's crazy. A few photos. Bus drivers are just having a hard time navigating through the traffic. Like Jesus, man. <laughs> And it smells it smells a little dirty here. It's a bit stinky, but I'm not sure where I'll end this video off though. Maybe back up by uh, Nathan Phillips. I've been going out to the waterfront, but it's a hell of a walk for me right now. And even catching up with Henry and Sapand, uh, they're very but they're far away from here. I mean, I already met Henry, and also when I was filming my last walking video. I uh, ran into uh, the Ken Continuum. <laughs> Alright, so the, the teapot display is on uh, the south side. This is the heart of the financial district before COVID. This is often a very, very busy spot for office workers. Going into, going into work, out of work. We're even getting a little snack from the path. Obviously during COVID, that that changed, but it's, it's slowly been rebounding, but still not uh, still not there. You know, when it comes to uh, working at the office post pandemic, people it's always been they've always been they've always been talking about hesitation and refusing to work in person. Even though all offices now have a hybrid uh, type of work. But that's more of a topic to talk about when it's rush hour. All the restaurants, nightclubs, bars, they're all busy today. But I was, as I was saying, right now, uh, the crowds are at the, the peak, like typically around now. And uh, maybe two, two thirty a.m. And then, uh, and then in the very early hours until sunrise. That's, oh, let me just uh, quickly walk through here. 
There's this guy who's uh, singing. Streaker's not really busy. I wonder what the subway's like right now. This is like the only... This is like the only one time uh, the subway is running all night. So there is where... Uh, so, this is, so there is where me and uh, my friend was earlier. Wow. I love this. Look, it's even emitting uh, steam. Don't know the exact name of this, uh, of this is. So you can see right here. This is made out of. Oh, this might be inflatable. Is that rubber or? I don't even know what the hell uh, this is made of, but. It's still pretty damn cool. Uh, all right. We'll keep walking. And uh, I am wearing a sweater. It's not very chilly out. I mean, at one point I did feel hot wearing this, but it's fine. I think right now it's around 16 degrees Celsius. Because now, now that we're in fall, like right now, normally, it's so gonna be like early 20s during the days, but uh, overnight it's a little bit chilly. And then come October, then it's gonna get even colder as the leaves change color. Summer's officially come to an end. I met Henry on uh, the other side of uh, Bay. I ever said another, uh, another art display. <laughs> and there's Bay where I was walking up earlier. I'm not gonna have time to uh, edit or upload anything. Cause once I get home, I'm gonna brush my teeth and then plop my plop my ass into bed. I'll edit when I wake up. I got some work done. They've already been very busy all day. Last year at Nuit Blanche, they closed down Young Street and uh, Queen. Yeah, here's the ever display, and this is where I met Henry from uh, Toronto Tech and Transit. Let's uh, get a look up. Let's get a closer look up here and see what this is all about. Oh, this is a performance uh, area. Yeah. Yeah. And we're waiting for something. Yeah, this is not really a, not really appealing to me. <laughs> All right. So we already walked. Actually, let's let's walk through here. Look at the Criminal Code of Canada. Oh, it's being displayed up here. I think I saw something else. Right up on uh, Commerce Court. Is this Commerce? This might be Commerce Court East. 
Art Deco style building with beautiful elevators inside. Like modernization, anyways. Yeah, people are having a hard time driving. Oh no, this is Commerce Court North. I think Commerce Court East is the next building up. There's Jordan Street. Didn't really know this street existed. Young. So I'm not sure, should I head up Young? Or should I take a side street just east of uh, Young? I got many options. It's not, also, it's not, it's not even safe to, uh, Walk around the east side of downtown at this hour, especially over by freaking uh, Jarvis Street, Sherburn Street. Making the ground shake. Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, great. Cameras are focused. Hi. You guys are ready to go? Yeah, we're ready to go. Let's find a, uh... Hmm, let's go this way. Let's see if we can find a shortcut. It's a little bit deserty here, though. I know this area is busy during the lunchtime. Oh, I see some people sitting down. Oh, there's that courtyard. Or to Victoria Street. Jenga. Connect Four. Wow. I used to play those games back in elementary school. That building looks like it's straight out of the 80s. Maybe it will, uh. I highly doubt it, but it may have some old elevators. All right. Wow. <laughs> I have never uh, walked through here before. Oh, an old office. Oh my God. Oh, this place is exposed now. Look. How long has this display been on for? Look, displaying the date and time. It's accurate. And looks like they're doing some renovations inside. So it was the Adelaide courtyard I was walking through. I knew, see, I see, I knew it was a good idea to come through here. Now here's Adelaide Street East again. All right, we'll head up this way. Because I'm going to walk up Young uh, 
pretty soon in my next video. So maybe we'll go up to Queen. Yeah, it's much quieter here. And here's uh, Richmond. The east side of downtown is it's partially ungentrified, but neighborhoods like Moss Park, Regent Park, they've seen a lot of development sprung up. Yeah, look at that, it's clogged up up there. There's some apartments. All right, here's Queen Street East, and there's St. Michael's Hospital, where I was born, and where my mom was a nurse for. Before I was, before she, uh, she gave birth to me, she was working night shifts there, and that was often the, and it, was, and it uh, had a negative impact on her. Again, that was a long time ago. And again, all this construction is for the new Ontario Light Metro Line. Even though, as I already mentioned, Metrolinx classifies it as a subway, as you can see in their marketing. Of course, it's not the case. Oh, would you look at that? After years of construction, they finally unveiled the facade so that's preserved and there's some like new offices built on top of it they've been working on this for years there used to be a sport check in that corner that's no that's uh, no more all right i want to find somewhere to sit down until midnight Maybe I should, uh... Yeah, maybe I should just, uh... Maybe we'll just stand here for now. But anyway, guys, uh... That's gonna be it for this one, so I'll take a quick break and then I'll start up again. So, thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. So always stay tuned for more videos. And check out my average as well. And, uh, take care, be good, be well, and, uh, as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. So, take care, adios, au revoir, and bye bye